Hi, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to enable or disable access to the control panel. Um, this can be good if you've got kids playing around on the computer or something like that. Um, also, um, I find that people have got um, their display properties um, disabled. Sometimes this can be the problem, so you can go and have a look and fix it up. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go down to the Start menu. Now we're in Windows XP Professional at the moment. Um, this pretty much goes for any of the XPs. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to press on Run. And then the Run box comes up. And we're going to type in gpedit.msc. Okay. Now if you want to copy that down or whatever, just pause the video and um, just write it down because it has to be exact. Okay, now I'm going to press OK here and what that's going to do is open up the group policy for this computer. Okay, so now I'm, it usually starts off looking like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the plus on this user configuration and then I'm going to press the plus on administrative templates and I'm just going to go down a bit. Now this is what I want to do here. I want to um, disable the control panel. So what I'm going to do is just make that blue and what happens over here is a menu comes up. Okay and I can scroll over to the other side and it says not configured. That's the state it's in. Okay so I'll go back over. Right so what I want to do is it's simply here prohibit access to the control panel now this can be um, quite annoying if you don't know that someone's doing this okay um, but it's good if you've got kids or something like that because they can't change any settings whatsoever so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on it and it opens up this um, control panel okay so what we've just got to do is it's not config configured at the moment, so we're just going to press Enabled. Okay, and then we're going to go down the bottom and press Apply, and then OK. Right, so now I'm back here, and if I go over to the side here, see how it was not configured before, but now it's enabled. Okay, so all I have to do is press across to get out of this program which I will do and now I'm going to now I'm going to show you what it did okay so what I'm going to do is try and right click on the desktop and choose properties and there we go the operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect on this computer please contact your system administrator okay comes up again um, I can also show you down at the start menu if I go in there and choose control panel it does the same thing I can't get to it okay um, now I can quickly go back and change that now if I go down to start and choose run and type in that uh, gpedit.msc press OK Right, so the group policy window comes up again and I'm going to go to user configuration and then administrative templates and then I'm going to press on control. Okay, now I'm going to go to here where I went before, double click on it. Now it's still got enabled, I'm just going to press not configured and press apply and OK. Okay, so now it says it's not configured. Now I'm going to close that window, try and press on the right click, yes, and there it is, it lets me in. Okay, um, same with the bottom. Um, if I go down and go to control panel, there's no problem about that. Okay, thanks for listening.